it's me again, Jennifer D. Patrimonio. Welcome back to my channel. video we will talk about what is the audio visual media before that let me first introduce myself Jennifer D. Patrimonio taking up a bachelor elementary education so are you ready to listen watch this what is audio visual media audio visual media is electronic media possessing both a sound and a visual component such as slide day presentations, films, television programs, corporate conferencing, church services, and live theater productions. Module 2, Lesson 3, Audiovisual Media Audiovisual media is electronic media possessing both a sound and a visual component. There are some audio medias which Useful such as cassettes, micro cassettes, phonograph record, CDs, and audio card. An age of audio means has the advantages and limitations. Introduction Audiovisual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility. Like, the audiovisual communication is productive form of communication using sound, lighting equipment, improves communication by heightening the awareness of audiences' sight and hearing. Definition of Concepts Audio material tools to convey information through sound, like for example the radio, tape, recorder, gramophone, and also the visual material tools to convey information through sight. A combination of both sight and sound to convey information. And audio is refers to sound reproduced by a computer or any device able to play it. Like as defined as we define as anything related to sound in terms of receiving, transmitting, and also reproducing or its specific frequency. Like for example the video. So, electronic medium for recording, copying, and broadcasting, and moving visual images. And it is generally referred to computer files containing video various digital formats. Like for example, the video is HD format and SD formats. Function of individual materials. Teaching music, literature, science, and documentation activities and also teaching language and other content areas to foster oral communication. So, this audiovisual material aids is help the teacher is in providing proper environment for capturing and sustaining the attention and interest of the students in the classroom works. And also, this is how audiovisual materials answers the involvement, teaching, and also learning is to motivate interpretation first is to make sketches broadcast so types of audio visual materials so audio is defined as anything related to the sound in terms of receiving transmitting or reproducing or its specific frequency the next is recordings recordings this may come in cassettes or CDs like music sound or images that have computer and so that they can be heard or seen again then the next is is radio broadcast radio broadcast is transmission of radio programs can be live or tape like for example television and radio internet media like website blogs and podcast online streaming visual material is tools to convey information through sight um, 
encompasses a wide range of forms including photographs, cinema, and video, video films, videotapes, and paintings, drawing, cartoons, and also their three-dimensional art such as sculpture and architecture. But some can be categorized as fine art. So this audiovisual media is a motion pictures videos, like videos of sound mixed with motion images. So the next is films. Films, large sequences of animated scenes and sounds. And also known as a movie or motion picture, is a series of moving images shown on a on unusually with sound that make up a strong because some people like to see new films at the theater as soon as the release. Next is guidelines of audiovisual materials in learning and teaching. So images should be as small as possible. The next is always provide alternative content. Then check copyright. So these audiovisual materials are particularly important in educational environments. It's because with this type of interactive environment is is conductive to learning and teaching, not violate the terms of use and generally comply with YouTube and regulations, and provide transcripts for audio and video files, save audio files in mono format. Uses of audiovisual materials, so this is the stimulate interest and emphasize, also promote efficiency and clarify subject matter topics. Advantages of using audiovisual material in teaching To enhance teacher skills which help to make teaching like learning process effective, the use of audiovisuals are makes the students to remember the concept for, for a longer period on time. Disadvantages of using audiovisual materials in teaching First is to prepare it good pronunciation is needed and also it can be difficult to understand for children and the next is a good internet speed is required the proper equipment is also needed and the next is requires correct use and not all concepts can be taught ways to use audio to support learning First is weekly updates of teaching materials and current situations. Then the next is live online discussions between two or more people. Then the next is brainstorming. So brainstorming is before the students start a research project, audio recording can be speed up and, and it will be processed interview with subject matter experts so this can be used as core support for lessons so students generated recordings used as part of a learner activity to record evidence so recordings of public lecture is those can be purpose and used for different contexts and subjects so there are three steps in producing audiovisuals First is planning. Planning is the most critical aspect of producing. Then, second is requires. Third is a purpose why. And also brainstorming how. And the next is preparation. Then, production is the shooting or recording stage is what most people consider the production phase of an audio or video project. So, in publishing, the publishing phase is the final part of producing audio or video for educational purposes and is often referred to as post-production requires editing. Programs to create, edit, and publish videos. First is to create. Second is audacity to record and arrange videos. Third is garage band to record and edit sounds. So, the fourth is Windows Media to record and edit video. Programs to create, edit, and publish videos. First is to edit. Second is Windows Movie Maker is a free use to edit. Then the second, uh, the third is Virtual DJ. So, the Virtual DJ is you need to free use to edit 
sounds and video. Then the next is QuickTime Pro. QuickTime Pro is video editing software. Then to publish. To publish is you need to use the wave accessing or YouTube, Vimeo or SlideShare. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.